Hi, today we're going to be looking at how to apply a copayment. A copayment is something that is a patient responsible amount um, designated by the insurance for specific procedures. Uh, now keep in mind some procedures will be covered 100% and some procedures will require the copayment. It is up to the office to know what that is and that can usually be found on the eligibility verification um, or on the patient's insurance card sometimes. So let's go ahead. One thing you want to, if you know that the patient does have a copayment, we can go ahead and right click on the case and hit edit case. And then enter into policy one and we can enter a copayment amount. We see this patient does have a $20 copay. So we're going to go ahead and save that. And now we see up here, we has a copay overdue. In order to apply that and have it reflect correctly on your reports, um, that will need to be done in a certain way. So if we go ahead and click on new and add a new line item here for under the payments adjustments and comments. We're going to come down here and find our copay. There we go. Check copay. So we see that the guarantor is the person who will be um, responsible or will be making that payment. We can go ahead and put $20 down. Now, this copayment here that is due, we see is required right here on our bottom line item. So if we put $20 in, we see that it shows up bright red because that's not applied yet. Go ahead and click on Apply. And then we'll apply the whole amount to this 3-9 date of service. Close that. And now we see that, that even that out. If we go ahead and save that transaction, we see it also zeroed out up here as well. Um, so that patient or that copay is no longer overdue. That is basically how to apply the copayment. Uh, one thing that some offices do confuse sometimes, they just put it in as a regular patient payment. We do want to differentiate between the copayment and the patient payment. If we right click on our copay procedure and hit edit procedure, we see that it is set up as an actual copayment. Uh, now that is going to be different than just a regular patient payment. Um, like I said, that is going to reflect in your reporting differently. So we do want to, to make that difference. We have the cash copayment, the check copayment, or the credit card copayment. Um, but like I said, keep in mind that is different than the actual cash, check, or credit card payment um, because we want to keep that straight in our reports for when we run those. Um, that is how you would apply a copayment. Pretty quick, pretty simple. Uh, like I said, just make sure you click on the copay rather than the patient payment. And that'll do it. Hey, thanks for watching. Hope you liked the video and found it helpful. If you did, let us know by giving us a thumbs up by clicking on the like button below. If you have any comments, questions, or suggestions, feel free to write those in the comment section below. And if you want to get more helpful videos like this one, be sure to subscribe to our channel. Thanks!